always thought of my dad as a priest. He was a butcher. My mother would make me a butcher's apron, a white butcher's apron, starting about when I was five years old. And I'd work in this butcher shop after schools, and every year she'd make a new butcher apron to accommodate my height. Our pastor decided he was going to preach on Leviticus, and I was I was excited because I knew Leviticus was all about sacrifice, and we butchered animals all over the place. And I, after about three Sundays, I thought, this guy knows nothing about sacrifice. <laughs> Doesn't know it's dirty and it flies all over the place. And so I just tuned him out, wrote poems. <laughs> My parents were probably the strongest influence I had. My mother was a very charismatic person, beautiful, preached well, told stories well. She influenced me a lot. We live in a house right now that my dad built, and it's a beautiful place in Montana on a lake. And he, he looked forward to leaving that to his kids, which he did. I was very fortunate to have parents who uh, gave me a way to think about the faith. It was authentic. It was nothing hypocritical, nothing, nothing dramatic. It was just faithful. Mm-hmm.